Hey guys, we're back in the garage again, and today we're going to go ahead and look inside something different. I found this old Polaroid camera, might be from the 80s or the 90s, I don't even think they make film for it anymore, but um, these are the old, if you guys don't know what a Polaroid camera is, this is before the digital age. If you wanted an instant picture, you can go ahead, you put the film in here, and uh, you would just take the picture and it would print right out, right there, right in front of your eyes. It's almost like a, uh, uh, a printer, so you'd have an instant picture right away. It's pretty cool. I wonder what's inside this thing. I'm not sure how we're going to break into it just yet, but um, I saw there's still batteries in this thing, which is pretty wild. Uh, and I wonder if there's film. Let's go ahead and uh, try to take a picture. Ready? <laughs> I don't know how old this film is. But this is how, um, I can't believe there's even film in it. I don't even think they make film for this anymore. But, uh, normally you would take the picture and then you wait for it to dry and, uh, your picture would come out. But I think this is pretty old. I don't know if you can see that there. Uh, nothing's really working here. So this must be really old film. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at the inner workings of this Polaroid camera to find out what's inside. You ready? Let's do it. Alright, so you can see that this camera works. Uh, well, it did work. It's probably out of batteries. Um, who knows how long the batteries have been in there for, but let's go ahead and see what, how we can get into this baby here. Okay? So before we break out our saw, let's just see what components we could start taking apart. Alright, obviously there's a little bit of battery left. This is wild. But, I guess none of the film is good. I keep trying to take these pictures, but it must be just really old film. Um, Alright, so, let's go ahead and cut this baby open here. Alright, so, ooh, let's take off the eyepiece first. Let's see if you can even see in there. I don't really see much. Oh, maybe because it's not open. Oh yeah, there's a little viewfinder. Let's take that apart. Alright, so for the viewfinder, you just got a little rubber piece here. And that looks all sealed, I guess that's one case. Alright. Okay. So there you go. This is where I guess your. This is where your film would go. Okay. So let's try to take that out. There's your film cartridge. And it's, uh, oh wow, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a lot in there. Oh, there's, a, there's still a lot in there. There's at least a lot of, ten more, uh, films in there. <clears throat> Pieces of film. Oh, look at this! Alright, I guess some of this film still works, because the other ones didn't come out too well, but I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. Okay, here we got. We're making some progress here. We're taking apart the top part here. Okay, so basically, if you guys don't know how the camera actually works, this is the bottom part. Okay, and we took out the lens already. But what basically this would do? This is where the lens goes. And the, the picture, okay, the viewing part of the lens, we'll see it. It goes against a mirror. There's a mirror back here, which we're going to take apart in a minute. And that mirror, once the light flashes, the light will project onto your film here. And this is going to be a negative. It only becomes a positive when it comes out through the rollers. Now, there's little rollers in here. I don't know if you can see that. See these rollers? And it basically is going to squish your paper, which releases the uh, chemicals in there. Uh, and then that actually goes throughout the film and then makes it into a positive. And that's how you can see my picture here. But obviously the chemicals are worn out or, or they've been drained, so it's not really, uh, the film is not doing it justice. But that's basically how a Polaroid camera works. You get the light comes in here, goes against the mirror, reflects onto your film. And then the chemicals uh, get squished 
through the rollers to be released into the film. So it's pretty neat. It's a pretty ingenious idea. So let's head take this off. Now, I kept mentioning the coil. This is actually a solenoid. Okay? So that's a solenoid. Um, that, when it gets energized through um, the battery, it's going to move. And what's kind of neat, too, is the battery, this does not have any batteries per se. The battery is built into your, um, your film. Your film has a little bit of battery, and then that's actually how it works. So every time you replace your film, you're replacing the film plus the battery. So it's pretty, pretty cool. So let's try to pop this out. I want to really want to get this piece out. Let me see if I can get a screwdriver and pop this sucker out of its shell. Let's bring this back down. Hmm. Getting a little tough here. Okay, so look here, here. Here again is the rollers, and uh, there's a motor that actually moves this gear, and that motor is right underneath this tab here. There's a motor here, and that's going to turn the gears for the rollers. It's also going to uh, do a, a couple other functions here. This right here is a little dial. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that, and that's that's your brightness adjuster. But let's go ahead and take this apart. Let's take it out. Let's see if we can take this out. There's got to be some somewhere. somewhere. Okay, so we got this part out, and if you look here, we just got a shell, okay? So we'll put that off to the side, and now we have our, basically our whole camera here. Let's turn it around. This is your eye, your eyepiece viewer. Again, we got our solenoid on the back side, and inside here, this is where your mirror is going to be. I wonder if we can get into, into there. I want to really want to see that mirror. Um... Let's see, does this piece come off? It does. Okay. So here's our circuit board. Okay, that's pretty cool. This is where the electricity goes and it tells uh, the camera what to do. Okay. I'm going to pop that off. There's a little tab back here. And these see, this is where the battery from the, from your cartridge, your battery touches these two, these two metal plates here is the battery. It would touch these two here, and then it would energize your your board, your circuit board. So pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and just remove that. Okay. Now this is your motor right down here, and this is going to be your speed adjustment. So if you look, your your brightness. See when we move that, these little two little sp springs go up and down, and that's your brightness. Okay. And let's take that off, and that would be your electric connection. And here's your brightness adjuster. Okay. Here's your motor. Your motor would turn these gears here, and if we move them. This, this would move, and that's going to do your rollers and the other functions of the camera here. So pretty cool. And I really want to get to that mirror. Oh, there it is. All right. Can you see that? There's your, there's your mirror in there. Let's see. If it, that's your mirror. And then that's what happens is when... Oh, here you go. Here's your mirror. If you see it there. So that mirror here, okay, that's what's going to reflect down... The image goes through here, down onto your, onto your, uh, your film. So, pretty cool, pretty wild. I mean, this is pretty amazing stuff. Whoever invented this obviously made a lot of money, but they were very smart too. So, here's your Polaroid camera. Here's your pieces. I hope you like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, that's what was inside a Polaroid camera. Pretty neat, pretty cool stuff inside there. We didn't really get to use the saw because we didn't need to. I like to use the grinders and saws and whack things open. So, uh, just put it on that end. But on the other end, I mean, there was pretty, pretty lots of uh, intricate stuff in there. I hope you understand how a Polaroid camera works. But stay tuned. On the next video, we're going to be opening up a microwave and a whole bunch of awesome cool stuff. I'm also going to dive into opening up some toys, some new toys, some old toys from the 80s. It's going to be cool. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.